Hey everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to show you exactly how to change the oil on a BMW 328i from 2009. This is a fairly easy maintenance item and a BMW dealer or a mechanic would probably charge you upwards of $300, $400 to do this service. And honestly, the oil is about 40 bucks, the filter's five bucks, so 45 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. And maybe 40 minutes of your time if you count jacking the vehicle up. It's really not a big job. This is something you could totally do at home um, with relative ease. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in. So believe it or not, this is our oil filter right here. It's pretty common uh, for modern cars uh, to have the oil filter located on top of the engine. So in order to remove this, we actually need a special socket. I, maybe you could get this off with channel locks. If you had really big ones, you might be able to get that off. Or if you were like ridiculously strong, maybe you can pull that off of there, but uh, the socket is a lot easier. So I have our oil filter socket on there. I will leave a link down below in the description to this bad boy. As you can see, it's a lot easier to turn with it. And go ahead and grab a shot towel because it's going to be a mess. We can just spin it out the rest of the way. We can just get the filter assembly out of there. So here's the front of our vehicle for reference. This is where we're going to be working today. It is right here. So that is where our oil pan drain bolt is and we have to remove that. I understand that there is most likely some sort of plate here, you know, some sort of plastic bit that interfaces with this right here and is going to be there. If I had to guess, it's going to be six or eight millimeter, looks like eight millimeter, uh, fasteners to remove just like this skid plate does. But as you can see, mine's missing. So there's really nothing I can do about that. So go ahead and remove that skid plate. It's like a plastic skid plate. And then you will be at this step. And obviously I have the convenience of a lift, but I also want to point out where the jacking mounts are, where you would want to put a jack for you or a jack stand. There's a little rubber feet that the car can kind of sit on. And that's where I've put the posts for my lift and that's where you can jack it up or put jack stands. On our oil pan drain bolt, we can take a 17 millimeter socket and remove it, making sure our catch pan is ready. It's a good idea, of course, to wear eye protection at this point. Oil in your eye is not fun. And there we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and let that all drain out. So over on my workbench, I have the oil plug drain bolt. Just gonna go ahead and clean that off. And then I'm gonna remove the copper washer, throw that into the trash because it has been used. So we don't want that anymore. But I have this, this is our oil filter, link down below in the description. And the reason I bring that up now is often on these cars, inside the goodie bag with the oil filter, look at that. There's a new copper washer in there. Just don't lose everything else that came with this. And we can go ahead and load that bad boy up, and now it is ready for the car. We can go ahead and wipe off that maining surface. And we're just gonna replace that bolt. And we can tighten it down, and the torque spec online, the BMW resource I looked up, said this is 25 newton meters. I'm not gonna grab a torque wrench. I kinda know what 25 newton meters feels like. If you don't have a torque wrench, one arm tight is fine. just like that, I think is perfectly acceptable. You gotta remember, it's not holding anything to anything else. All it's doing is holding oil back in an aluminum pan. You could pull those threads out really easy, so maybe be gentle. So here's our oil filter assembly. I've just left the socket on there because it's kind of wedged and it's a little tough to get off, um, especially with everything all oily. I'll just leave it on for right this second, that's okay. Go ahead and remove our filter assembly, set that aside, and then on the very tip, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pick, or you can use a small standard screwdriver, link down below in the description of these bad boys. And we're just gonna pry off that O-ring. And we're gonna do the same for this bad boy, the very big one, on the outside of the housing. Get that out of there. And what I'm going to do is take the new O-ring and put it in its slot. There we go, I'm gonna roll it into place there. And then, I have some new oil just off screen. I'm going to apply it to this O-ring. So it's nice and lubricated up like that. Looks great. And we can do the same treatment 
for the little one. And mine happens to be green in this kit, but any color is good. There we go. We're going to do the same thing. A little dab of new oil, or old oil. It really doesn't matter that much. Just make sure it's lubricated and never put O-rings on dry. That looks pretty good. Now we can grab our filter material. It doesn't appear to be directional in any sort of way. So just press that in place like that, and we're ready to put that back in the car. We can go ahead and replace our filter housing, making sure our O-rings are in their homes. And the torque spec for this is uh, 25 newton meters. Again, a welcome you to use a torque wrench, but I'm just gonna feel it out. It is just plastic into metal, so it is totally possible to snap those threads. There we go. That feels absolutely perfect. One arm tight, seems right on the money. And if your oil filter socket is a little wedged on there, just grab an extension, work it back and forth a little bit, we'll come right off. So the next thing we can do is remove our oil cap, and it's a little interesting. You just twist it, and then it flaps up. That is an interesting design. And then we can place a funnel. Now, you might be wondering, well, how much oil do you put in? The answer is 6.9 quarts, and I really wish there was a way to verify that, because as far as I can tell, there is no dipstick for the oil capacity. So, just go ahead and put 6.9 quarts of full synthetic 5W30. Brand isn't super important, but if you want to follow the manual, it does recommend castor oil. And here we go, this is my last quart. I'm just going to put 7 in because 6.9 is super close to 7, and that looks pretty good. So we can get our oil funnel out of there, get him out of there, perfect. And then we can replace our cap. If it doesn't go on right away, try twisting the body around until it does, and then you hear that nice clicking sound and you know that's done. So basically, in order to make sure that it does have oil in it, we're gonna, make we're gonna turn the vehicle on. And then it might have an oil pressure warning light, don't worry about that. As soon as it goes off, like it just did, that will tell you that it has oil pressure and it is happy with the volume in there because it does have an oil pressure sensor and an oil level sensor. So if there was something wrong, it'd be blinking, much like the tire sensor is blinking right this moment. But it's not, so seven quarts is right on the money. So at this point too, it's a good idea to look at your oil filter and make sure it is not leaking at all which this one isn't, it is perfect. Also a great idea to look underneath it and make sure it's not just dumping oil all over the ground, which it's not. So that's how to change the oil on your BMW 328i uh, from 2009. Thank you so much for watching. If this video has helped you at all, please consider giving it a like, and I hope I've earned your subscription here today on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.